Hello. This arty chat is about a very intense three-part picture, the largest I'd attempted at the time, uh, called Follow the Yellow Brick Road. I painted it in 2002, and this is the top section, this is the middle section, and this is the base. Now, in sequence, the picture goes from uh, heaven, sky, swirling clouds and bells, three martyred saints, the middle is the demon and saint face, and the base is three more martyred saints and hell with the skulls. And there are roundels at the bottom and the top with the four gospel saints in it. Now the reason this most bizarre and colourful picture came along, looking like a mixture of um, Arabic fabric and a stained glass window and uh, a pantomime, is uh, because of the band The Residents. Now, I had lost my mojo just before I painted this because we moved house and after 12 weeks of DIY, I had absolutely nothing in my imagination banks whatsoever. So um, I put some more music on and the album Wormwood by The Residents is full of biblical stories and um, I was really inspired not only by the strangeness of the music, the uncompromising nature of their imagery, but also the actual stories themselves. Now, the residents haven't cared at all what people have thought about them since they started in 1970. They have gone, they ploughed their own furrow. They've been an absolute inspiration. And I thought, I think maybe I just need to do that. I need to just stop thinking, worrying what people will think of my work. And this was a major leap forward in thinking because I absolutely loved painting this. I loved choosing the faces from anywhere and everywhere. These two faces are a good example because uh, this was just taken from a random magazine with the, and I added extra teeth and mouths in it. This is the lead singer of the band The Stone Roses because I thought, well, why not? He's got a good face, put a crucifix on his face, made this one obviously look like a demon or painted up with flames and say too many teeth and didn't bother to justify that at all. Just thought, that looks right. And I really began to enjoy using this style, which is the first time this has appeared in my work, and I use it to this day, just began to do the curling and the swirling of these cartoony clouds. It just slowly started to become my style that I do very naturally now. This is the first time this has appeared. I also put some gold backgrounds in here. Um, I also invented a typeface, which to my mind looks very, uh, very foreign, very Arabic, the, the, the nature of the swirly writing, very decorative, but you have to look twice to see this it's actually the English alphabet, but all coming down from a, a horizontal line, it's all hanging off this horizontal line. Um, and then I looked at some of my old photographs from uh, my trips abroad and used the colours from uh, a fabric from Egypt and also from uh, Spain. So the whole thing becomes one great big glorious wealth of colour, patchwork of colour, um, and I really, really did find that it was liberating to not care, obviously to care about the style of the painting, uh, which I made these faces as realistic as I could, but not so much about the proportions, more just enjoy the swirl of the lines and how much um, it actually just balances up really well. In my mind, it's a very satisfying balance of, uh, of shapes and colours, I find. And also, I'm fascinated by the stories, and I did, do not mean them to be sacrilegious. I just took them seriously and painted them in my own style. So you have uh, floating heads, and you have uh, people with their eyes stabbed out, St. Catherine broken on the wheel here, the top one. All sorts of shenanigans from the Bible. Um, but without meaning to make a pun, it was a revelation for me to uh, actually realise that I could maybe do better in my artwork by caring less what people thought, and therefore the sincerity level went up. Um, I was speaking from the heart a lot more, and that's all thanks to The Residents and the album Wormwood. So that's where allowing yourself to be influenced by uh, music or by theatre or by cinema can really feed into your own work and change it forever. So after that, I became freer in my thinking. Thank you for listening. That's it for today.